I hear the concept of the saying that everything government touches, it, it's, it's dead. But is there anything good like within any of these systems, do you think? Um, the first thing about government is be thankful we're not getting all that we're paying for. Um, that's really important to remember. If we got all the government we paid for, we'd be all in jail. Um, <laughs> because thank goodness government is, a, is at times as inefficient as it is. Because could you imagine if regulators actually did their job? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Does government do anything well? Um, I mean, I've really, I, I have huge respect for our armed servicemen and women. And, and I, I don't even think we do national security that well. I mean, I'm glad we, I'm glad we have the apparatus we do. I think we, we have unbelievable amount of waste in the Department of Defense, like ridiculous amount of waste, and I think we ignore it just under the auspices of national security. Um, I think we could get everything that we get done in the Department of Defense, everything, for one-third less money, like easily. And I think that we don't we kind of turn a blind eye to the waste, fraud, and abuse in the Department of Defense just because we want to be good to our veterans and be good to our current service members. And I think we have to completely stop that. Um, if anyone follows me closely, I'm, I'm highly critical of the endless wars that these self-interested politicians have got us in over the last 20 years. Um, and I think our whole generation, we, could, we, could, we have a moral high ground on this position. The Afghanistan war has been a total disaster and a total mess. No one knows what success looks like. I've asked four-star generals what success looks like. And he says, well, you know, the world is better when America leads. Like, what leads into the oblivion? Like, I tell, explain to me what the, actually that means. It's like, well, if we get out, then the Russians will get in. I'm like, I hope they get in because it's a effing mess. Like, let the Russians screw with Afghanistan for another 20 years. And they say, well, if, you know, if we get out, then the Taliban will rule. Well, no, the Taliban is ruling right now. So we've lost. We have, we've literally lost. We functionally have lost. We're spending $40 billion a year in Afghanistan. Uh, thousands of our fe fellow generation have lost fighting for what? We, we, we've spent hundreds of millions of dollars a week on absolute garbage projects um, overseas. The Iraq war was one of the worst decisions ever made in American history. Um, and we should be unapologetic about saying that. Um, I don't think our generation is a neoconservative generation. I don't think we're a generation that wants to just invade every country that looks at us funny. Like, I don't, first of all, it's really bad foreign policy. It's just really bad geopolitically. It's not good for the world. It's not good for us. It wastes ridiculous amount of money um, and also our own uh, armed service members. But that doesn't mean you have to appease dictatorships. That doesn't mean you have to send billions of dollars to Iran and act like they don't want to wipe us off the face of the earth. It's as if we live in this, the bigotry of binary choices. But does the government do anything well? I mean, <sighs> yeah, that, that should answer your question. So. Um, <laughs> 